everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a green and yellow halo eye look. I wanted to do something a bit more colourful and bright now we're getting into spring. So yeah if you want to see how I created this look and what products I used make sure you keep watching. Also don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and we're just going to jump straight on in with the video. So to begin with I'm going to be taking the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 02 and to apply this this, I'm using the Zoeva Soft Concealer Brush. This is the best brush if you want to carve out your eyebrows and also to create cut creases. It's got such a nice shape to the brush. And I'm just applying the P. Louise base all over my eyes. You want to make sure that you are patting this product into the skin and not dragging it. Therefore, you're not going to lose any pigmentation and you're not going to drag any brush marks onto the eyelid if that makes any sense but yeah just make sure that you pat it and then it'll evenly distribute all of the product out and it will leave you with a flawless base for your eyeshadow next up i'm going in with the morphe 12p palette if you guys love color you need to get this palette it is perfect for anyone that just wants one easy eyeshadow palette that's quite small that will introduce you into using a little bit more colour and I am taking the lightest green shade here and I'm just applying this to the outer edge and the inner corner of my eye and leaving a space right in the centre for the yellow halo effect and then I'm just doing the same on the other eye. I'm swapping over brushes as well just to diffuse out the edges to make sure that the lime green is blended really nicely. Make sure that nothing is too harsh. Even though this look is quite structured, you want to make sure that you're blending out your shadows for a nice flawless finish. Next up, we are going in with the NYX Bright palette and I'm taking this dark green shade here and using a smaller brush i'm just going to apply this right where we applied the first green shade and this is just going to help deepen that green color up a little bit more give the look a little bit more dimension and then we're going to go in with a clean brush and just make sure that those two shades are blended in seamlessly together when you're blending make sure that you're using really small circular motions to get the best effect out of your blend next up i am taking the nyx prismatic eyeshadow in the shade gilded these eyeshadows are incredible they've got so many gorgeous colors and they apply beautifully as well i prefer applying it using my finger i feel like you get the most pigment out of each of the shadows i'm then going to go back in with the dark green shade and just intensify that green up a little bit more then taking a pc21 brush i'm going to apply some of the nyx glitter primer over the top of that yellow shadow and then i'm going to go in with peach's rattlesnake this pigment is beautiful it's the first time i've used it and oh my god i was obsessed and i'm just going to concentrate this pigment right in the center of the eyes and this is going to give that really gorgeous duochrome halo effect to the look i feel like it goes perfectly with this eyeshadow look as it has hints of gold yellow and green in the pigment now going back into the morphe 12p palette i'm just taking the darkest green shade and running this through my lash line i'm then just going to take the p louise base again and pop some of this underneath my eyes and again just patting this out using a concealer brush and then i'm going to go in with the same shades that i used on my eyelids i'm going to apply that to the lower lash line so we're going in with the dark green first blending that out with the more pale green and then i'm going to pop the gilded yellow eyeshadow right in the center and this is just going to mimic the halo effect but underneath the eye i found it easier to apply this gold shadow to the lower lash line with a brush just because my finger was way too big and i would end up getting mess everywhere i am now applying the elf hydrating primer all over my skin and then for foundation i'm going in with the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 103 and to apply this i'm using a real techniques buffing foundation brush and i'm applying this in very thin light layers and then if i feel like i need more coverage i'll just go in with another thin light layer rather than packing a load of product on and going cakey so if you build it up in thin layers it will apply a lot nicer and then i'm patting out the foundation using a real techniques sponge i'm then going to go in with the maybelline fit me concealer and this is in the shade 05 so i'm just applying this in the areas where i need a little bit more coverage so under my eyes 
on my chin above my brow and then I'm also adding it on my nose and cupid's bow to add in some highlight then to blend this out I'm using my trusty morphe duo fiber concealer brush you guys need to buy this it's the best brush ever blends out your concealers perfectly and i'm just gonna pat this out again with all of your cream products you want to make sure that you are patting them and not swiping them I wanted to keep it all on theme with the base product so I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in the shade 102 and I'm just applying this to all the places where I applied the concealer so this is just going to set the places where we applied the concealer and it's also going to give me a little bit of extra coverage as well. Then for bronzer we're going to go in with the Hoola Benefit bronzer, this is such a gorgeous bronzer, I feel like it's everyone's holy grail, it's perfect because it can be used for so many different ways, you can use it to bronze, you can use it as an eyeshadow, it's honestly such a stunning colour, especially if you are pale like me, it's going to look absolutely beautiful on your skin and give you a really nice healthy bronze look. I'm also applying a little bit to my forehead just to warm up my face. Then I'm going to go in with my Smashbox contour kit and apply a little bit of the contour shade just to the hollows of my face so where I want to look nice and contoured. Then using the same Smashbox kit I'm going to go in with a little bit of this really pretty pink blusher. Then we're going to move on to highlight, so I'm actually going to mix two highlighters together, they're both from MAC, so I'm going to go in with MAC Soft and Gentle first, this is such a gorgeous highlighter, it suits everyone, it's the perfect shade, especially if you guys are super pale like me, and I'm just applying this to all the high points of my face. I'm then going to go in with the MAC Oh Darling Extra Skin Finish Highlighter, this is gorgeous as well, it is a really nice gold colour but I feel like this also goes really nice on pale skin and then I'm just going to mix those two highlighters together and apply a little bit to my inner corner as well. For mascara I thought we would mix things up a little bit so I'm using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara and I only had to apply one coat of this, it is a beautiful mascara and it looks really really nice on the lashes, the only thing is it will never beat my Soap and Glory thick and fast but I do really like this mascara as well. Then for brows I'm just going to use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, I'm just going to brush my brows through into place i don't use any colored brow gels just because i do not need to so for lips i wanted to keep them nice and nude as i just felt like i didn't want to take away from the eyeshadow look i wanted to keep it quite neutral so that all the focus was on the eyes so first off i drew in my whole lip using the barry m toast lip liner then went in with honey love lipstick from mac absolute gorgeous shade really pretty kind of nude and then just applying my lashes i had a little bit of a nightmare with my lashes today they just weren't sticking on properly i'm using a glue at the moment and i'm really not that sure on it i can't get hold of my normal duo glue so i've swapped over to an eye law one and i'm just not 100 percent sold on it but anyway that's beside the point we managed to get them on in the end and here we have the finished look i'm so proud of this look i really pushed myself out of my comfort zone here with this eyeshadow look i would never usually do a halo spotlight eye on myself and i'm honestly obsessed with it it's definitely something that i would do again i especially love these colors together i just feel like they look so pretty and i'm just obsessed with this makeup look anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye everyone